Yo, what is up everyone? I'm Firebro999 and welcome back to another reaction to a Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 Spotlight. Today, we have Jenny's. I, I thought they were going to upload Reptars today, but you know, I'm fine. I'm fine. Anyway, I, I like Jenny anyway, so it's fine. So let's see how she has changed. I know a lot of people are excited for this one. Yo, Bloody Foxy, if you're watching this, I know you are too, bro. So let's go ahead and see how she has changed. Oh, hold on, I don't hear anything. I don't know why, but the volume was low. The crime-fighting teenage robot XJ9, aka Jennifer Wakeman, aka Jen Yo, Tafar's back. We missed you, bro. In Nickelodeon All Star Brawl 2. Oh so my God! Brawl with some new high-tech tools and a shiny coat of paint, Jenny excels at creating openings with strong projectiles that she can use okay. to provide cover for herself or catch opponents off guard. That's new. While her combo game isn't as strong as some others, Jenny can always. Those moves are the same. Oh. Bar. And thanks to her fantastic recovery and heavy weight, she has no problem jumping straight back into the fray after getting knocked away. Oh, I love that taunt. <laughs> Jenny's projectiles. Oh, that costume's back? You and already know I'm using that one. Returning neutral special, Rocket Power. While the normal version Rocket Power? Auto confirmed? At any time, the new slime version also allows for two rockets to be out at once. Oh, that's kind of busted. Find clever openings, extend combos. Oh my god, what the hell? Situations. If you hold down the special button after firing a rocket, Jenny will stand still while you try to hone in on your target. If your opponent is oh, he can make her stand still now. Set up your rocket, make some space. Was that always the case, or was is that new? This big old hammer Ass hammer. Flying through the air or rumbling along the ground. Woo! Some breathing room. Just be careful not to be too predictable with how you use this move, or else you might risk having your project. Oh, it looks like that has different properties if you're in the air and on the ground. Too close, but still need a way to rack damage. Jenny's down special of lasers remains a solid way of doing yeah that was a really good move in the last game big combos or otherwise find a way to open up your they definitely changed that one a little bit to have a little bit of consistent damage output as a way to keep up the pressure finally for the last of Ooh, that costume's nice too robot wings i don't get the reference so you guys are gonna have to tell me that pretty hard to swat out of the air when she activates this move thanks to its maneuverability but watch out she doesn't get any fuel back until she touches the how many people can go under harmonic convergence videos <laughs> or even her light up air to glide back to the stage when possible yeah that's back too a few of jenny's other old moves and techniques are here to stay including her charge forward air which is a slow yet incredibly powerful finisher angry stomp and mighty mallets i love angry stomp bro also both make their return and can be looped repeatedly that's like so good on the ledge no raptor don't do it to him new property the final hit can be angled with the control stick meaning she can either choose to launch opponents flying a bit farther Okay. Or even tumbling downwards. Oh. She tends to feel the most vulnerable when she isn't quite close enough to utilize her short yet fast and effective. I don't remember exactly where she stood on the last game's tier list, but she still looks pretty she dang can still good. Still surprise opponents at the mid range by holding down the grab button for some extra reach. This yeah, she had that extremely long grab in the first game. Misses, so don't use that as a full replacement for her. Range. It does leave you open though. Because I heard this game is a lot slower than uh, the first one. Not by a lot, but the first game is definitely faster than that. Oh, her super? Give her a try in Nickelodeon All Star. Okay. Thanks for watching, and look forward to more character spotlights coming soon. Okay, so that was Jenny's spotlight in Nickelodeon All Star Brawl 2. So by the looks of it, uh, she doesn't look too different. There are definitely some new moves, obviously, because you know there are side attacks and all that now. Um. So I hear that uh, characters like Jenny and Rocco, since they were like DLC for the first game, I hear that those two characters are the least changed out of everyone else because um, I would assume they were added to Brawl 1 while this game was actually actively being worked on. So it would make sense that they changed the least amount uh, compared to everyone else. But that was an interesting spotlight. She still looks like a really good character. Um, the changes that they made are really cool. I love how some of the moves can be angled now and the slime boosting. I wonder how that's going to affect her down B now because that was always a super strong move in the first game. And now it's looking even crazier this time around. So let's actually go back and watch from the beginning, analyze some of these movesets and animations. The crime fighting team, her idol. I noticed that's still the same. <laughs> where the little screen uh, surprises her. Robot XJ9, aka <clears throat> Jennifer Wakeman, aka Jenny, is oh, nice little throw. Back and ready to throw down in Nickelodeon All Star Brawl 2. What the hell is that? Oh, that's one of Zim's new moves, I think. Mini Moose. Does it shoot lightning downward now? <laughs> Zim's about to be annoying. <laughs> Returning to the brawl with some new high tech tools and a shiny coat of paint. Jenny Up B's the same. Openings with 
that was her light up air in the last game. That's still the same. Projectiles that she can use to provide cover for herself. The taunt is still the same, but she actually dances a little bit longer now. Catch opponents off guard. That's her new side B, which looks like a very interesting move, by the way. And that is my favorite costume by far. Our combo game isn't as strong as some others. Jenny can always keep up the pressure. Yeah, the side B. Wait. Okay, it has different effects whether you're in the air or on the ground. Always so when you're in the air, it shoots a little cr uh, crescent forward. Jenny can always and while you're on the ground, it shoots a little wave. That's pretty cool. Thanks to her fantastic recovery and heavy weight, she has no problem jumping straight back into the fray after getting knocked away. New back taunt. On the subject of Jenny's projectiles, the new slime mechanic provides an extra upgrade to her returning neutral special, Rocket Power. One thing that I did notice, by the way, is that uh, this mallet attack, new slime it doesn't look like it spikes off stage anymore. Projectiles. The new slime yeah, it just seems to like launch them upwards. Uh, in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 1, if you use that on the ledge, they're getting spiked. And the it was really easy to spike with literally any downward attack in that game. So it looks like they switched it up now. Unless this is old footage, I I I wouldn't know. <laughs> Fly mechanic provides an extra upgrade to her returning neutral special, rocket power. While the normal yeah, that's still a good move. Still be aimed in any direction at any time. The new slime version also allows for two rockets to be added. And the fact that you can do two now, powerful, that's insane. To find clever openings, extend combos, or even save herself from some dangerous situations. I never thought about it like that. If you're close range to somebody and they're known to be like a good grabber, you can really use that against Patrick players, actually. So, you know, Patrick is more of a, he's that grappler character. He's more close range than anything. So you can straight up pressure him repeatedly with those little rocket missiles. And if Patrick grabs you, you can still keep on controlling it and end up freeing yourself from that. Wow. That Patrick Jenny matchup is going to be wild. Down the special button after firing. Love the Barnacle Boy costume, by the way. I don't know which Patrick costume I'm going to use. Rocket. Jenny will stand still while you try to hone in on your target. If you're that is still a really good move. Charge side attack. Opponent isn't giving you enough uh, side air charged attack. Enough time or space to set up your rocket. Make some space with Jenny's new side special, Mass Hammer. Yeah, that one's insane. Hammer swing sends shockwaves flying through the air or rumbling along the ground, which can help her find some breathing room. Just be yeah, so it does leave her open. Um... But yeah, it's interesting that they have different properties depending on whether you're on the ground or in the air. Um, that would be a really good aerial move to use off stage because I feel like um, you could probably do a really good job interrupting recoveries with that. Be careful not to be too predictable with how you use this move, or else you might risk having your projectile. And of course, don't spam it. <laughs> don't want to get too close, but still need a way to rack up some extra damage. Jenny's down special, explosive lasers. That was different. So in the first game, uh. I think when you use that attack, she jumps up in the air and hovers for a little bit and then shoots a bunch of tiny beams downward. But nowadays, uh, the lasers look a lot bigger and she doesn't jump in the air anymore. They are very, very good range, though. Remains a solid way of doing so. If you're not oh, yeah, that's really good, actually. If you're not able to land big combos or otherwise find a way to open up your opponent's defense, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, when you're in the air, it shoots diagonally downward. Cool. So that's essentially how it worked last game anyway, regardless of whether you were in the air or not. I have a little bit of consistent damage output as a way to keep up the pressure. Uh, the Nair looks the same. Finally, for the last of Jenny's specials, her up special, Robot Wings, allows her to fly around wherever she wants. Mm -hmm. Jenny can be pretty hard to swat out of the air when she activates this move. Thanks Probably to one of the best recoveries in the game. Out. She doesn't get any fuel back until she touches the stage. Try to use her other specials, air strongs, or even her light up air to glide. Ooh, back to did you see how far that shot her back? A few of Jenny's other old it wasn't that techniques are here to stay. The distance wasn't that big last game, was it? It's been a while since I played one. Including her charged forward air, which is a slow yet incredibly powerful finisher. Angry stomp and mighty mallets. Her light and charged down. Attacks, I love angry stomp so much. Turn and can be looped repeatedly by pressing the attack button. Her yeah, it looks like that doesn't really spike either. Yes, in the previous game, the stomp move when you use it at the ledge, it, it did spike. Not as strong as the mallet attack, but it definitely did. And it just seems like all of those easy spike moves off ledge aren't really that effective anymore. It just seems to shoot uh, the characters upwards now. I don't know if they changed it, because once again, this is development footage. It's still in development, even though it's coming out soon. Anything can change. We never know. But by the looks of it, 
jab, however, seems like they don't spike as easy anymore. The final hit can be angled with the control stick, meaning she can either choose to launch opponents flying a bit farther, higher, or even tumbling downwards. Yeah, that spikes, however, and that looks really cool. Wow. Being able to spike somebody with your neutral attack aimed downwards? Wow. Tends to feel the most vulnerable That's significant, though. Close enough to utilize her short yet fast and effective light attacks, nor far enough to safely set up her projection. But yeah, uh, However, that new side special. Opponents at the mid -range by holding down the grab button for some it brings like a lot of good options when it comes to uh, far more punishable if it misses. So don't use that as a being more of a zoner than she was in the previous game. All in all, Jenny is a well-rounded defensive character that has all the tools you'll need to succeed in a world full of villains and aliens. If that's not, not too much of a zoner compared to like Jimmy, but. Definitely in that caliber of being super defensive. And that's her super. Like your kind of style? Give her a try. And I don't get the reference to that one, so y'all are going to have to help me out with that. All-Star Brawl 2. Thanks for watching, and look forward to more character spotlights coming soon. So that is it for Jenny Spotlight, my reaction to it. So Jenny, for the most part, still looks like a really good character like she was in the last game. Like I said earlier, it doesn't look like she changed too much because uh, the DLC in the first game were essentially released during the development of this game i would assume so it would make sense that she wouldn't change too much so by the looks of it she does look a lot better with her new options the side special especially looks like a uh, very good zoning tool and i love how they have different effects depending on whether you're in the air or on the ground and especially what i would like the biggest change in my opinion would probably be the uh, her down attacks on the ledge so like the angry stomp and the mallets they don't seem to spike anymore and that was like a really good kill option for Ginny in the previous game so it looks like they nerfed that a little bit I don't really know for sure but hey <laughs> less easy spikes that's a good thing if you're going against her at least anyway she still looks great I am glad that she is back on the roster and she's looking good as always so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I will see y'all in my next reaction Peace out. To be sure to subscribe to Fire Row or I'll send you to the Shadow Realm.